Uh, hi, uh, uh, good morning. Today we will be learning about uh, the working of a metering valve uh, with the help of this animation. So on the screen uh, we have drawn a, a metering valve over here and uh, let's identify uh, the components. Uh, so this is a metering valve and here we have a center shaft over here and uh, these are the two uh, springs which is uh, employed to keep this shaft in position uh, this is uh, uh, from pressure differential valve uh, this is a flow happening for the pressure differential valve and this is to the uh, front brake of the system and this is also to the front brake and uh, uh, this is this shaft is actually the valve stem so let's see where this metering valve is used and how uh, it is actually working uh, uh, as you all know uh, drum brakes uh, use uh, uh, returning spring to bring back the shoes uh, when the brakes are actually released uh, but uh, there are no such springs in case of uh, disc brake systems uh, therefore uh, if in a vehicle uh, disc brakes are employed uh, at the front uh, with uh, drum brakes uh, at the rear the front brakes uh, would start applying long uh, before uh, the rear uh, drum brakes uh, if no suitable provision uh, is used uh, to rectify the same um, so this may cause uh, the front wheel to lock uh, when the driver applies um, uh, the brakes even uh, lightly uh, resulting in loss of uh, steering control so this uh, need to be avoided uh, so to avoid this uh, to happen a metering valve is used uh, when a delay is at the application of pressure uh, to the front uh, disc brakes uh, till uh, sufficient pressure has been built up uh, in the rear uh, brake lines uh, to overcome uh, the force of uh, return springs over there so uh, which is usually about like uh, 800 to 900 kilopascal is used and also at this time uh, the metering valve uh, will be fully opened uh, uh, when the uh, brakes are released uh, metering valve is uh, closed and uh, a return valve uh, uh, located inside uh, the assembly will open at this uh, point of time allowing the fluid uh, to return uh, from the lines freely actually so uh, uh, quite often a single valve incorporating uh, the pressure uh, differential valve uh, the proportionating valve and uh, the metering valve uh, is actually employed uh, such valve is known as uh, the compensation valve so uh, i believe you got an idea about the metering valve its construction and actually how it is working uh, for more uh, details you can visit my uh, blog uh, or my uh, youtube channel for more video tutorials or you can connect with us in facebook also uh, thanks for watching